following the river here. Bicker, which is a part of Peardsdorf. In the background to this uh, weir we can see the, um, the motorway bridge. Not really a weir, it seems to be a uh, big pipe going across the river. This magnificent structure here, um, this wonderful t tower with uh, the clock on, 10 to 11, and coming back down we have uh, what appears to be something uh, resembling a sundial, although I uh, can't say how that works, but no doubt it does, and um, it's facing east anyway, and there we have a list of those people from this tiny village who died in the First World War. dates to 1753 this church and the church is open so maybe I'm going let's have a look Another little uh, village. But even here, some what must be three kilometres or so from the uh, the motorway. I can still hear it in the background. Over the noise of the power drill, that is. Wonderful. This is the uh, village of Piersdorf, uh, which is a former border village of. Uh, East Germany, very attractive once again. There's the Hauptstrasse. Running alongside this stream. Some wonderful... Um, in, in Polish it's called a Prussian Wall. This type, I don't know what it's called in English. Very attractive. Church in the background. And we'll go up there now. This is the church at Pierdsdorf. Five past eleven. In this village. I think this is once the graveyard. Not a particularly well sculptured grave there. Nicholas Baltenbach. 6th of April 1817, died 13th of November 1882. 65 years old. Let's go get in. Oh. Come on. Never mind. Must have not known what's coming. This wonderful building here, in fact, the, it's the rat. It's the uh, 
call that in English, the, the, the town council of the area. And we've got this very nice fairy tale like building. Not very Germanic. The street there is called Mauer Gaza. Gaza, sorry. But I uh, come to, came to a quick end. So I didn't really get a chance to. Uh, but I think when, a day when I don't have to be in Cologne in four hours time and the shoes I got on, the shoes will be walking around in the trade fair today, tomorrow so um, I'm going to get them covered in mud that's one of my spare shoes that got wet inside yesterday but I'll have a look at that some other time and here's the way out of Fearsdorf now I remember this has been close to the, uh, I've never been here before, but I remember Fearsdorf being close to the uh, the border control point, but from here I just can't really see it. It was, it was closer than the um, Eisenach. Maybe it be visible from here. This place called B7A, one kilometre, ha ha ha. No, of course B7A is named the road, that, that being the joke. I can't see it. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I can see it over there. Behind the trees. And once again, there's that wonderful uh, motorway bridge, which is obviously built after unification. And must have been something here beforehand. Maybe the road came down and then went up again, or something like something that was that nature. 